Just You're go. like an A plus plus lister. I really right? am. I maxed out three last week. Oh my gosh! And I'm not going to yeah, max you out see, three. You this see week. a movie every time you're like, "Have you seen?" Have you, I'm like, "That just came out." You're like, "Have you seen it?" I'm like, "That hasn't even come out yet." It's just, <laughs> "Have you seen this?" Have you seen this? Welcome everybody. This is the film Glutton, and this is an introductory episode to a new series I'm starting, calling Theater Spotlight. Basically, uh, we already have the concessions, confessions, where I'm talking about all the snacks. Now I need to focus specifically on some of the theaters. I am joined today by Juan. Hello, everybody. And it's a big welcome back. Hey, what's up? He has been on literally one episode. One episode. <laughs> I was hoping it, it would only be that one. It was. But, you know, when you're asked. I dragged like, him back in. He's like, you, you have to do one more. <laughs> Carlos will also be joining us on our theater as, on this series, as he does with all of my <laughs> series pretty much now. We're going to be going through all theaters, like the everyday theaters I go to. I've already kind of mentioned the Lamalay Theater, which I go to a lot, courtesy of Movie Pass. And also everyone knows I'm an A-lister, AMC A-lister, so I go to the uh, all sorts of AMC theaters near me on a consistent daily basis. So I'll be covering all those, but I also want to cover a lot of special theaters. I've got one special one coming up next week I'm shooting for, but before I get into that, uh, as a welcome back to Juan, I just want to be able to ask him, uh, what are some of the theaters that you would like to maybe speak about in the future um there's definitely the hollywood forever cemetery oh yeah um yeah i've been there a few times i haven't had a chance recently but i'm dying to go back and i feel like every time i've gone there um it's always it's a, it's a special you always pick a movie that you know you, you see the calendar and there's always a movie that you like matrix uh, true romance um the shining there's always something really cool to go there i'll definitely I'll definitely be talking about my experience there. Um, and then, uh, of course, no one's ever been to the, the AMCs in LA, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I know for Hollywood Forever Cemetery, that's definitely the one I'm probably going to talk about for sure. There's a couple other ones. There's the Fox Village Theater. Um, I've only been to Chinese Man Theater, or I'm sorry, Grauman's Chinese Theater a few times. I've, oh, yeah. I've, never, I've never liked it. Really? Yeah, I know that's probably everyone loves it. It could just be because I I saw there's there's a couple of movies I've seen there, and the last one I saw was just really bad. That it could just be the reason why I don't uh, ever want to go back. Like I just was like, eh, it's okay. You know, they don't have stadium seating. Uh, I know it's the atmosphere. If you if you're new to LA or if you've never been, I definitely recommend it. Uh, the atmosphere. Uh, is amazing just getting there you're parking you're on Hollywood Boulevard the Hollywood Walk of Fame um, you know it's 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 an experience in itself and then to get to the movie um, but for me it's just not something I've I, the last movie I saw there was um, Wind Talkers oh John Woo's Wind Talkers did you oh. like that movie uh, I never saw it. No, you don't. You don't. You don't need to. <laughs> if you put up, I, I said, ah, like, oh yes, I've seen. Ah, that. I've heard of like, it. Yeah. It's a good movie. You, you nod smilingly until somebody like, yeah. brings you, calls you out on it. Of course, Sorbet, <laughs> Sorbet Peach is really great, and so is Wind Talkers. You, you should see my movie. Um, no, but that movie, I feel like if you just put up Army Men on a on a kitchen table, and uh, knocked one over one by one, that's Wind Talkers. Nice. Yeah, All it's right. it's you you get this same experience, and I could do that at home, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's uh, uh, there's so many theaters, but there, there's the new Beverly Cinema. Uh, it's closed right now. It'll be opening up again in December. That's a great theater to talk about, and um, the Vista is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a few. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. So basically I definitely have one on here. And like I said, Carlos is in all the series because I'm going to try to get these guys to go out to these theaters themselves, experience it, and then give you guys a feedback. And of course, like every show I do, I want the feedback from all of you guys. So throw in suggestions. Uh, we're focused because we live in LA. We're focused in LA. But for instance, in Arizona, we got the Seneca Pri. I want to compare the Seneca Pri if, you're, uh, if anybody from Arizona is familiar with that. Uh, very comparable to the dome out here in LA. So I want to kind of compare both theaters. When I go out to Florida, I'm going to go see a theater out there and, and give you a review on it, all sorts of stuff. So if you have any suggestions, um, we can uh, provide it to us and we will do a review on that. Uh, one of the ones I wanted to get to was Alamo Draft House. Have you heard of the Alamo Draft House? I, I have. I've never been. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not in LA yet. So, no, there's, it's the one in Texas. 
Uh, it was based out of Texas. Based out San, of Texas, San, there are a, San Antonio. Uh, I think it's Austin. Oh, it, it is Austin. It's yeah, Austin, you're right, you're right, right, right. right? I don't have it on my. We took notes before the show, guys, and that's not on there. Okay, uh, <laughs> but I believe it's Austin. There is one out of Arizona because I've had a few people out of Arizona reach out to me and say they went to the one in Chandler. Okay, so I, even though I've been to Arizona, I have not been to that one. I'm I'm saving myself. I'm so, going to be an Alamo virgin until it opens here in LA. Yeah, where is it opening? Do you know? Uh, it's called the Block. The block. Yeah, it's a whole area. It's where they're doing a whole skyline theories, which I'll talk about next. But they, uh, it's called the block. I don't have the specific area, but you should have written that down, John. I know, right? God they damn it. They did just come out with an article giving everybody an update on the draft house, though. Okay. They promised that they are t- they because there's so many like regulations and things they got to jump through. They can't guarantee and put a date on it, but they are shooting for what they say is quarter two of 2019. Oh, okay. Around the corner. Around the corner. That's so, next week, man. Next it's coming week. Up. Of all the of all the theaters, like we're just writing these, like we're just talking about, yeah, yeah. What theaters we go to? And, and like, oh, AMC. You know, we've been ArcLight, obviously. Uh, the New Beverly Cinema, um, the Vista. You're, we're, we're, there's so many. What of all these theaters? Yes. Okay. When you find out, when you hear your favorite movies coming out, and you're like, oh my god, Aquaman's coming out, or or uh, Star Trek, the next Star Trek movie, when you know it's like six months out, or even when it's in pre-production, mm-hmm. you're like, I can't wait to see this movie. What theater do you always imagine going to? Like, what theater do you plan on going to to make that event that much more special? I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to give you two answers. I'm going to go ahead and say The Dome by Arclight. Okay. Okay. Because it's old school Cinerama style. It's so similar to Cinecapri, Capri. And that was my childhood cinema. Every Star Trek that came out, I was always waiting in line in the hot summer heat of what? Arizona. Yeah, really? because it was one theater. Uh-huh. And it's not like here where it's connected to another theater and there's an indoor. Right. The Cine Capri, the original one, uh, was uh, was like one building and you would have to literally wait outside in a big line. There was no assigned seating back in the day. So you'd have to wait in the big line, get there like at five o'clock for a nine o'clock showing. So sit outside in Arizona t- until they let you into that theater. Okay. So that's connected to like oh, my whole life with special movies. So the dome is there. The dome is great. It's got the big screen. It's mm-hmm. got arc, arc light standards and quality. The caramel corn, need I say more? Okay. Concessions, confessions. And uh, <laughs> then, um, but I'm also going to say there's a very solid chance everyone knows how much I love Dolby AMC Prime. Okay, where's that? Where's, is there? Century City is the closest one. Okay. It also happens. Does it to be, have to be that one? Or if you were close to another one, it, it's just the You know standard which one I actually have? love? No, I actually love the Burbank Theater, okay. AMC Burbank. I don't like most Is of, it AMC 16? Yes. That one? Okay. Yes, yeah. it is. Uh, at AMC 16 and uh, most of the theater I've been to the other ones in that area and I don't like but their Dolby AMC Prime Theater is great and it's in Burbank so you feel like you're even more immersed in the Hollywood concept of, you know the mm-hmm. whole Hollywood experience uh, I'm going to go with Century City because of the close proximity I as much as I say I want to go to Burbank yeah, I just don't do it yeah. because Century City has the Dolby AMC Prime. It's an amazing, beautiful theater. It happens to be my regular theater. I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to Thursday. But you have that beautiful Dolby AMC Prime. And you've, you've been to a Prime movie, right? Yeah. Okay. So you know how they even have like the movie going in. The wall is a movie as you're right. walking into yeah. the theater oh, yeah. before you get to the whole experience. So I have no problem with Aquaman being that. Oh, you know? okay. so And since I'm an A-lister, which a lot of my subscribers are, or at least MoviePass, hopefully they're all switching over. Uh, what's, they're mo- what's, be- uh, what's MoviePass? What's MoviePass? <laughs> Not about three cents. Okay. <laughs> MoviePass will be very passe. Probably <laughs> in what, two, three months? Will Maybe. It, will it be around? Maybe. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe a month. They're going to do another reverse stock split. I'm going to save that for the MoviePass episode. Oh, I'm going to do... I'm, when people talk math, I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, I didn't even know what that was, no. and I started doing research because of my addiction to cinema. Wow. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to go with. How about you? I'm going to be honest. I, I do love going to the ArcLight theaters. Yeah. Um, there's one fairly close to me, and and maybe it's it's just uh, convenience. You know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna, but but I feel like I've never not enjoyed a movie there. You know what I mean? Any mm-hmm. kind of ArcLight theater like i mean even even amc I, th- I feel like if any theater has stadium seating um i'm gonna be okay because i'm gonna be center row 
Like I'm going to be right in the middle right. and it's always pretty much enjoyable. Now, so for, for me, like when I, when I go see a movie, like I'm, I don't really think about, oh, it's just the only time I feel like I'm going to pick a theater for a specialty type event is maybe when, when there's like a retro throwback movie. Like um, Hollywood Forever Cemetery, I think that's the reason I do like going there is because mm-hmm. they'll pick up like True Romance, they'll show uh, Ghostbusters, um, and I feel like there, there's something special about going to see it in an environment where people obviously love that movie, they love films, to go there, uh, it's not always fun, you know, there's always a line, um, you know, you have to, you have to it's, it's an experience in itself, and obviously I'll, I'll get into that when I do my review of that theater, Um but I do like what it's it's all about convenience and it, as long as I have stadium seating. So so when I think of like the next movie, I don't even have a movie right now that's that I'm really that excited about. Uh, I do want to see Aquaman too, but like whatever movie's coming out that I think is is going to be exciting, I'm just like okay, when am I going to be free? Right. And, and then uh, okay, so I, yeah, I'll watch it at uh, the ArcLight, you know, because it's really close. But <laughs> you know, I, I, for me, like you know, I've just I've been busy lately so you're that, fortunate with that though because arc light is it's close for you but right the standard really is like it just doesn't compare i mean i'll be honest with you before movie pass mm-hmm. uh i would only go to the arc light for oh, the really? most part oh, I, yeah, I mean yeah, there that's was right. there was century city but i was kind of an arc light snob whoa uh, in a lot of ways they are expensive they, they're expensive they're really expensive but, and especially when they opened one in santa monica that was even more convenient for me i mean i'll be honest like you i do go in um, again, I'm gonna sound like a fucking loser, but I never buy anything, yeah, except for the movie. Oh my god! Um, I always bring in food. Like I'll, I'll go to Chipotle uh, and just you know experience that terrible meat. No, uh, I'll, I'll get Chipotle but the caramel corn, the special the caramel, caramel corn. You know, I do, I'll bring. I really just need M and M's. Like M and M's, peanut M and M's are my jam. That's the that's the only thing I really need to eat. Um, so I'll come in there. I mean, you know how, obviously, you know how we know that's true. Why? The very last episode you were on many months ago, you brought up. P- Did P- I bring up? P- okay, okay, I'm almost good. positive. Twenty years ago, uh, <laughs> he positive. also said, uh, "Well, it, it's it's all I need, I guess, because you know, you go in to see a movie. I, I bring in. I usually have coffee anyway, so if I have coffee, yeah. I'll bring it in. Typically, I think they used to be much strict about it, more or, or more strict about bringing in uh, drinks. But lately, I don't. I don't feel like it's in. I've come in. I have my coffee in front of them, and I'm like. Here's my ticket, and they go, okay, right over there, sir, and then I just go, and yeah. then I bring on my M and M's, and that's 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 pretty much it. But yeah, so I think it's it's a matter of convenience, um, and only I only go to specialty movies when there's like a, a specialty throwback. Yeah, uh, and that's why, like you know, the the Quentin Tarantino Theater, uh, the new Beverly Cinema, been there a few times, and they usually have, I don't know if they're gonna do it anymore. They just revamped it. Like Quentin Tarantino basically bought it out. Kind of to help the the previous owner. The previous owner passed away, and the son was kind of uh, maintaining it. Quentin Tarantino was basically giving them money uh, for a year to maintain it, not necessarily taking ownership. But I guess from what I heard was that he eventually had to buy it out. Um, so I don't know what the specs are of like if he if he let the family still run it. But bottom line is they used to run double features every night, and it was fucking awesome. I loved the the, the, the last oh double God. feature that I saw there was. Um, you know, they had a big Grindhouse thing, but before Grindhouse came out, this is where you would go in L.A. to watch double features. And the movies always match each other. So, like, they would show, um, for example, if they had a, a horror theme night, it would be, like, uh, uh, Friday 13th yeah. and then a Nightmare on Elm Street movie yeah, or a Halloween movie. But they always match. So, if it was a comedy, they would have two epic comedies with each other, like, that, were, that related to each other. Yeah. Um, it was inexpensive. Um, it was really cheap. Like, you would go there and be like, I can't believe I'm watching two movies and I get to buy food. They're like, that's probably the only last place I would like get get food at the concession stand. Um, so basically, yeah, I, I think that was the the last movie that I saw there was um, they showed the thing, an invasion of the body snatchers, like the 1970s version, and it's just it never got old, man. So that was that that's a theater that definitely. When I look at their schedule, I'm always like, okay, I can't wait to to see if they have a cool movie, a cu- couple movies. I hope they still That's do that. I, I, now that it's revamped, I, I don't I know if they're going to do. I haven't seen a double feature in so. Well, I guess you know what. Uh, Avengers. It's a. It's yeah. It's tiring. Avengers was a double feature. Avengers. I saw Avengers when Age of Ultron came out. I remember I saw the triple feature with uh, the Dark Knight series. Okay. okay. And then I know I saw Avengers the double feature. Which is really interesting. So okay, but that's when it happens now. It's special occasions. When I was a kid, they would come out every week. 
they would come out like that was like the standard oh yeah for the cheap theaters yeah i remember seeing joe versus the volcano i remember seeing with uh some Dane Car- Dana Carvey film. Oh, I don't even know Dana Carvey. Oh movies. my god, that's the one Dana, thing. I, I remember definitely... as a kid, I was like, "Oh, the Dana Carvey film." Is what be the Dana, one. Dana Carvey? Dana Carvey, right? That's From SNL. Comedian. Yes, yeah, yeah. Did he have that one where he's? Is it the spy movie where he was like, like he was in a turtle costume? Or no, something? no, no, no. It was way before that. Okay, that's all I know of him. Anyways, like... it's funny because that's the movie I thought I was gonna remember, but obviously Joe versus Volcano because I can still recall Orange Crush. Without without a problem, oh, okay. or the waterproof uh, suitcase. Oh wow! So and of course Tom Hanks. Uh, I want to talk about the Skyline series because that's what I'm gonna. That's that will be one of the first reviews I get up because next week Skyline is teamed up with Alamo and all summer in LA they've done rooftop series. Since they don't have a theater, they're like, hey, how about we just team up and show movies on our roof? Oh yeah. So I actually just got an invitation for. Did you a, really? Yeah, for Fight Club. Oh, Fight Club. It comes out at the end of this month of August. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so they're doing them all the time. Now, the Alamo specific one, I think that's already ended. I think that one, the last one was with Die Hard, mm. which was last week, which I'm really mad about. They had The Greatest Showman on the rooftop oh, I really cool. wanted to catch out. But Skyline keeps going. Um, you know, they had the Die Hard one. The one I want to target is August 30th, which is next Thursday, 8, 8 p.m. showing of Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. I've Were only you seen a it. Fan of that film? I, <laughs> I I am. I Are you? No, I'm kidding. I've never seen it. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Guilty confessions, I guess. A uh, whole different from concessions confessions, but I not only love that film, I bought it. I've been wanting in to college, see I, I would watch it again and again. And Moulin Rouge? See, yeah. I've been wanting I, to I see that it. every time it's on or like, you know, I've seen people have a copy of it. I'm like, kind of bar- I just never seen it. And so it's it's really interesting because it's playing at the the Montalban theater okay I'm sure i'm saying it wrong but it's a 19 uh like is it 20s or 30s themed beautiful architecture uh, historic 1920s theater is the way to describe it and how beautiful it is but they show the movie on its roof so i don't know what that means <laughs> come to our historic beautiful theater and watch a movie on our roof They're like, come to our historic skyline <laughs> come to historic air that but, we have up in the in the rooftop but, area but they do advertise umami burgers which is a new big thing oh that's good interesting i don't know what umami means but i know i've had them and i know they're delicious they're expensive as fuck they're man. Expensive. they don't come with french fries do they no no, no they don't. Not at all. oh my god i'm very i'm, I'm very like, anti any establishment that sells burgers and french fries separately i'm there sorry you. i know i'm probably <laughs> one of the few people i've been i've been on dinner dates or uh, evenings just at umami burger or any place and they're like yeah and I'm like wait this hamburger doesn't come with french fries okay no I'm, I'm gone I just can't <laughs> it's like Canadian for yeah. no fries no fries buddy but you get a burger <laughs> you get a burger ketchup is separate as well and like, I really want that if I could just get a burger with uh, fries uh, yeah it just they also me. have uh, what they count as world famous sangrias I will definitely get an umami burger I will demand fries on your behalf. You fucking traitor. And I will drink a sangria. All right. Cool. All I right. can't wait to hear about it. And I can't wait to uh, talk about some of the specialty theaters that we've been to. And uh, yeah, sounds cool. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for joining me again. Hopefully, uh, we have to make it not such a rare occasion. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll get them at least do some uh, theater reviews, guys. And thank you guys again. Always add comments. Throw in your suggestions a place to go. What your favorite theaters are. What your regular favorite theaters are. What your special theaters are. What your regular theaters are. All What whatever. your special regular <laughs> theaters are. What the regular special special theaters <laughs> are. Which is your favorite home theater. And then do you know, do you know what the fuck umami means? Okay. Is it, it means- Canadian? Is it Canadian? Anyways, until next time, guys. I'm the Film Glutton reminding you to order your burgers with fries and never turn down an upgrade. Have a good night, folks. Good night.